Donald Trump is a stooge for Hillary Clinton. He's a plant. He's a ringer to sink the chances of Republican candidates who actually have a chance of defeating Hillary. We're a bunch of fools and we're being led by a fool. Hillary has already been chosen by the political elite to be the next president. Trump has no chance of defeating Hillary. That's why he's been catapulted to become the front runner in the GOP race. Shortly before Trump announced his decision to run, he received a mysterious phone call from Bill Clinton. I didn't get a phone call from Bill Clinton before I jumped in the race. Did any of you get a phone call from Bill Clinton? I didn't. Maybe it's because I hadn't given money to the foundation or donated to his wife's Senate campaign. As The Hill's Brent Badowski writes, if that phone call was about how Trump could act as a spoiler for the GOP race, Clinton would have told Trump to do everything that he's done since personally attacking other GOP candidates, alienating Hispanics, drowning out the message of new and fresh candidates. Check, check, check. Now look at the polls. Even at the height of his popularity and while Clinton is under FBI investigation, Trump trails Hillary 36 to 48%. He's still way behind. Whereas other GOP candidates like Scott Walker are tied in a hypothetical head-to-head -head with Hillary but they're not going to get a chance to take her on. Until recently, Trump praised the Clintons, his longtime personal friends, every chance he got. Hillary Clinton, I think, is a terrific woman. I mean, I'm a little biased because I've known her for years. You support her? I, I don't want to get into this because I'll get myself into trouble, but I That's just like her. That's why I asked her. you to see me I know. trouble. I just like her. I like her and I like her husband. Hillary's always surrounded herself with very good people. I think Hillary would do a good job. That's not surprising given his generous donations to Clinton's Senate campaigns and to the Clinton Foundation. Actually, uh, it was vintage Trump, you know. I, he has been, believe it or not, uncommonly nice to Hillary and me. He thought Hillary was a good senator for New York after 9-11. Right. And he is actually, he's one of the many Republicans who supported our foundation before <laughs> they got the memo. Not only has Trump bankrolled Hillary, he's also supported Democrats like Chuck Schumer, Harry Reid and Anthony Weiner, amongst others. Now look at last night's debate. Everyone is attacking Fox News, calling them bias for baiting Trump. Really? Fox just gave Trump the opportunity to do what he does best. Fire back with witty retorts and turn the whole spectacle into the Donald Trump show. Trump got way more talk time than anyone else and more than double the time that Rand Paul got. Trump is the Teflon candidate. His support only increases when he's attacked. Megyn Kelly handing Trump the chance to make politically incorrect statements only boosted his populist street cred. Notice how Fox failed to nail Trump on his key weakness, the fact that he's flip-flopped on just about every issue imaginable. Well, I'm very pro-life and uh, feel strongly about it. I'm very pro-choice. It was left to Carly Fiorina to call Trump out during the earlier debate that hardly anyone even watched. Since he has changed his mind on amnesty, on health care and on abortion, I would just ask what are the principles by which he will govern? And yes, in many ways Trump is likeable. He's a great public speaker. He makes populist statements that other politicians are afraid to say. But I think we've been down that road before and it didn't turn out so good. Yes, we can. Trump's whole shtick is posing as an anti-establishment candidate, but his cosy relationship with the Clintons clearly suggests he's the opposite of that. And he's serving to eclipse the campaign of the only real anti-establishment candidate in the race, Rand Paul. He buys and sells politicians of all stripes. He's already, hey, look, look, he's already hedging his bet on the Clintons, okay? So if he doesn't run as a Republican, maybe he supports Clinton or maybe runs as an independent. Okay. But I'd say that he's already hedging his bets because he's used to buying politicians. Well, Trump is also the only candidate who refuses to rule out going third party, just as Ross Perot's third party run in 1992 ended up helping, you guessed it, the Clintons. The message is clear for conservatives. If you want Hillary Clinton to become the next president, then carry on supporting Donald Trump. How do we let him get away with it, folks?